Okay, so here, I should just put this in duplicate mode, so you can see exactly what happened with this dance. So, as you see, whoops, when I got over, as you can see, my screen is actually broken. Um, this is a duplicate setup, thank God I had the TV, so I would have killed myself. Um, and you can see the screen's broken. Well, of course I need this for college, and I decided to just get a desktop. I'll paste, I'll paste the uh, link below. It's an MV. Phoenix, not Phoenix, 750 desktop. Um, so, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace your laptop screen. Um, and in most cases, like this setup here, we have an HDMI output that I'm able to still use the TV, obviously. And the funny thing is, is that after I got the screen, got my new desktop ordered, my dad's old Easter laptop has got a bad motherboard battery, which that's beyond repair fuck that <laughs> holy cow i've had enough of laptops already i've already dis dissected this laptop once and it was not fun i'll tell you that much um you can call me bullshit but whatever haters gonna hate um so never done well sort of disassemble it so today this video is going to be about replacing your screen first thing you gotta see is it's broken so um i got a screen off of screen surgeons it's already here it's gotten here today um, I chose Screen Surgeons. It was ninety-seven dollars. Came in here within a three days. Uh, it's a nice screen, um, very well packaged. Took me about five minutes to unbox it properly, and uh, so the screen's actually on the bed. I have most of my desk space worked out. We're actually going to work on my writing school desk there. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you just close out all of your applications. And. Uh, better not do that. I can just exit that out. And then, so now, you, oh, let's do this. I don't know why that HP thing pops up. So then you just want to, and I turn this off because I don't have that. So then you just hit shut down. Now, and then we can pretty much start unhooking the USB stuff on the laptop. I'm not going to force shut down because I don't want to deal with a blue. Something fucking stupid. I shouldn't have done that. But I still need it. Okay, that's good noise. So we'll just wait until it shuts down. Got everything off, off, off. And it is a little hot, but we'll still do it. that bad. Um, and my screen did break because of the uh, dog and a squirrel. Yeah. Alright, so we're just waiting for it to shut down now. Slowly but surely, windows will shut down. Um, I'm going to go over to the desk space, which is right there. Um, so, screen surgeons gave me tweez tweezers. It's like a nice screwdriver with their sign on it. Awesome. And a, an X-Acto knife. This is all the tools you need, and now it's flashing no signal, whatever. I'll fix your sorry problem in a second. And now it can safely disconnect the hitting me. And now we can begin dissecting the laptop. First thing you want to do is unplug the laptop from and my battery. Oh, even before you do this, even before you work on your laptop, always back up your laptop. <laughs> I did. I did. So I'm not worried about if this thing dies. I don't care. Dusty. So, the thing you want to do first is make sure that the power adapter is off. Everything is off, and it is, before I did that. And we're just pop the battery out, and you just got to push it out, and there's a little precision, and it pops out, and I just got bit by the battery. Um, the battery is kind of cool, which is awesome for being plugged in most of the time. And then we can flip the thing around. Now, I'm going to be in the way. I'm actually going to move the camera around so you can see what I'm doing. I'm actually going to move stuff around here. And the dog's in the way. So yeah, give me one second, we'll get this thing set up. Alright, so I got the handy cam rolling here too. The screen's really broken now, but I'm gonna do this without the handy cam and on this one. Haha, dual cameras. So anyway, when you're doing this video, battery's obviously off. You here you have the screen, you can see that it is broken. You can see the broken screen. And it's very dusty. That's okay. You already have your tools. And my screen is officially broken, so hopefully I am recording. But if not, I always can do it on that camera. So anyway, the first thing you want to do, there's actually a little dewy, a little bezel piece you got to pop off there and there. 
So I'm going to pop those off with the exacto knife. I'm going to go over the cannon now. I'm just going to brush this stupid thing off first. And now I'm actually going to mark it vice versa. So I'll put the left, right, and there's a screw there that's shown. This is actually my first time doing this, so I might fuck it up, but that's okay. Well, this side's a little bit more persistent. I will get it. Oop, I cracked it. Well, I didn't crack it, I just... There we go. And actually, those will pop up back on. So then, you... Okay, so then you have a screw and a screw, and then that just pops off. They are little, not even plastic pieces, they're just a little thing on here. This is the screen. Uh, 17.3, all that stuff. Yep. Yep, so then there's two screws you want to remove. And they did supply the screwdriver, which I believe is magnetic, kind of, I'm not. Yes, it is magnetic. That is awesome. Love that. And there's Loctite on that screw. God darn it. Hate Loctite after now. We're doing we were checking our relief valves on the fire trucks, and uh, one of the relief valves was stuck on, and there's blue Loctite on it. <laughs> that explains it right there. <laughs> it's never gonna come off. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm gonna, now that that's popped off, and I have to stab myself with an exacto knife. You can now start snapping. Well, not really snapping, but you're gonna hear a snap like this. Like that. You're going to hear a snap like that. And you want to start from this side and work yourself all the way around. When you get down here, that's probably going to be the most pain in the ass part, but we will get it off. So you just got to snap the. The side's going to be a little bit trickier, but it ain't that bad. Hardest is probably gonna be the ow. The hardest is probably gonna be the corners, which I'm not gonna force it to come off. I'm actually just gonna. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem. There it goes. Just outline your fingers in the top. I don't want to be at the bottom all the way. All right. So as you can see now, the screen is off, but it's not really working. So what you do is you turn the thing around this way. <laughs> And I did watch actually the I know I'm familiar with laptops before, but this one's a little bit different. Um, on there's a crease on the bottom you're gonna have to pull off, but that's and since I don't want to break my nail because I'm a little girl, I'll just use the tweezers and just knock it off. Maybe pop it off. Persistent little bastard. Oh, I bent it. Oh no! Alright, whatever device, don't use tweezers. Um, I may have to go with a knife or something. I just bent the thing. I 
do have nail clippers, so that's handy. Okay, don't use the tweezers to pull the bottom off. <laughs> Shoot a little bit stronger in metal. <clears throat> now this is persistent. Persistent. A little bit of a problem here. There we go. Persistent. But we got it. Try to slide the weight on it. Uh, let me actually flip around the other side. Okay, persistent little bastard. Okay, that took a little bit, but we got it off. All right, now the screen's gonna pop forward, or should pop forward. I don't know. Let's see if I can get the top very good. Okay, I'm gonna get the sides good. Okay, phew! Oh shit, did I cut that wire? Oh fuck, I don't think I did. Forgot there's, I forgot there's a fucking wire there. Oops! Alright, whatever device, don't use anything sharp next time. I'm gonna get that wire back in, it won't be good. Well, hope I didn't damage that wire. I don't think I did. Did not know there's a wire underneath there. I'm just gonna push it back in where it belongs. I don't think I cut it. Alright, now, now you have a screen like this. Um. So then we gotta start taking these screws off, and then we gotta take the side one off. And I think I, if I watched the, I did watch the video of the screen surgeons, and it is nice. Uh, it looks like we leave the tape on. Okay, so that means it just goes right in. All right, and then the webcam's there, or it was there. Oh yeah, it is. The smallest webcam. Holy cow! All right, so then, uh, which way do we start with that? We'll start. Actually, this thing's got to. Uh, it's got to come forward. So we have to remove the top screws first. I had to kind of thought for a second. And my screw pile over on this side, you can't really see it, but I'll do that in a second. Remove the top screw first. And these are magnetic screws, so that is very nice. Put that one there. I think it's very hot. Oh fuck. Ah, I got it. Oh fuck. It. Okay, now. I'm see, all right, so obviously I, now I'm realizing that I'm gonna have to take off the bezel that holds the, this stuff on. Um, you don't need to take it completely off after you just gotta loosen it up a little bit so you can pull it out. There should be no contact wires in here, and then you can just get your little freaking screwdriver in there, and I can. So I just be able to eat a bit more. Yeah, don't snap the screen out, that'll be hilarious. Okay, I'll put there. There's actually, there's actually four of them. One on the top is actually the easiest. Oh, shit. Okay, don't do that. Ah, there it is. So, yeah, now that's loose, and then we do this side. The screws are actually on the top and in the middle. I'll actually tighten that up a little bit more because then it doesn't need to be so loose. Tighten it all the way. It's going to be a little bit looser. Alrighty. Put the one on the top first. And you also want to hold the screen because it might be a little, it might, no, I got it, okay. Put that there. Yeah, I'm going to hold the screen. Can we come out a little bit? Okay, so like I was saying, here's the screws. Screen screw, screen screw, 
top screw, top screw, bottom screw, bottom screw. Simple. The black screws are the outliners. The silver screws are this actually what holds the screen on. There's the bezel, and there's the new screen, and all that stuff. Okay, now, so this thing does not fall out, which it probably will. Now, we can just simply pull this thing completely forward. Make sure it does not fall because your cable connector is in the back. And I did not slice the cable connector. That is good. So, here we have a Samsung screen. And now this is where the most problems start, is trying to pull this frigger off. But it will come off. Okay. This is actually a little bit backwards. Now in order to get that thing out, you gotta... Why is that like that? This is different. They showed on the video because there's that. All right, give me a second. I'll figure this out. All right, so here my problem was is that I couldn't really get. It was just a really tapey. So it just is in there like this is really sticky, but we will fix that. Okay, so this is probably the hardest part out of the insta installation process. This is actually the new screen. So the old screen is, I did put the old screen, right? Yeah, that is the old screen that can go there. There's another dog barking. I'm doing a video too, so just. Now, for in order to do none of the cameras in my way, I will figure it out while we turn off the camera in the way. <laughs> All right, now in order to stick the thingy in there, you the clip, which I think I am. Oh my gosh, I really zoomed in. That's good though. So then it goes in. Oh, you fucked hard. Like this clip is very persistent. There it goes. Come on. Oh, there's tabs on this motherfucker, too. Defrag, okay, it does go in there. Alright, I'm not really level with it. That's probably why it's not going in. Persistent ass fucker. Oh, no, that didn't work. Ha! Ah, all right, good. It clicked. That's what you want to hear. And that tape's not going to lie down. I'll fix that. Okay, so you should feel it click too, which is a good sign. I'm going to put new tape down just so that we don't have any problems. And nine times out of ten, this won't work. So. That's on there. I think we have good connection, Houston. So then I'm gonna put the camera back to normal. It's a very good camera for zoom. I'm very happy with this. I'm gonna put this back and then we'll put the screen back in. And hopefully it works. If it doesn't, oh well, we'll cry. I'm no, just kidding. And when you put the screen back in, uh, this tape, the tape now can be removed. Lifting the screen up. In and down, I do believe. Oh, fuck. Come on. You cocksucker. Okay. I don't know why it's being persistent. That's probably why. Alright, now. Then comes the fun part. Let me get the screwdriver set up. Because now comes the fun part. Okay, 
cut it. We'll start with actually the top screws on since that's what's going on the easiest. I'd be very happy if I do this correctly the first time. Because I'm very good with computers, and the fact that if something doesn't work, well, hey, so I'm studying in college is computer science. But, you know, after messing with this kind of stuff, I just don't think laptops are my, just aren't my taste. But, hey, if this works, first try, I'll be fucking happy. Uh, and then I can get the glue you want. I don't like that screw come out. This is the paint. What's nice about the magnetic screwdriver is, is that you can literally stick the thing in there. And then you can just... Turn the laptop this way so you can see what it looks like going that way. Oh, man, oh, man. It's $97, boys. <laughs> I, was, I thought it was going to be a lot worse, but... Now we have a problem. It won't get in. But that's. We'll just loosen that a little bit. Pop that. No, you stay. Oh, you little. I like this magnetic screwdriver, but it's driving me nuts. There it goes. No! Get in that fucking hole. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is interesting. Sure. Now it's sure. The easy, the hardest part is over. But now this is turning into the hardest part. That's okay. I think I get that. See, I think the problem is the magnetic screwdriver is fucking me up. Fit that all the way. Ow. Ow, you little shit. Okay, I'm going to tighten up the strings just a little bit. There we go. If it does work the first time, I'll be very happy. That's in there, that's in there. That's in there. Okay, um, just make sure all my screws are tightened. Okay, now we can start doing the bigger screws. Um, there's actually two holes. I'm sure you guys are still seeing it. Yeah, you are. There's actually two holes. You want to put it on the second hole. Did it wrong. You're never supposed to put it in the first hole. It's actually going to be the second hole. Or in this case, it'll be the inside holes. It's because there's two holes. There's one for the case and one for the screw. You want to take the ones with the screw. These are probably going to be the next hardest. This is actually the bottom ones, but I think I can still get them in pretty easily. We just won't try to snap the screen. That would be good. <laughs> Snaps the laptop. Then it's really fucking broken. But I didn't, this was not in my anger. This was actually in the dog's anger over a fucking squirrel. Oh, the other thing I noticed too, boys, is that there's two screws. I just noticed that. There's actually two screws. The one you want to remove is actually more or less the bottom. But I think we'll put the screw. No, you know what? I can't put those back on, can I? No, I can't. Oh, let's see, boys, what I've done. See, I'm good doing it backwards now. The time the screen's got to be popped back on for the casing thingy, thing, do we? Yeah, because it's got to be popped back on now, and the screws get attached to that. Okay. Now. It just. Should all.
Okay, so what you have to do is put your hand behind the laptop and push the screen together. And then I can put the two screws on. Damn, it looked beautiful. <laughs> and then we're gonna get this. That's actually what holds the uh, bezel dewy, and I put them in backwards. Oh, uh, well, I think they still should be. I don't think those are going to stay on too very well. Because I thought these were just plastic, but they're really not staying on too well. No. I'll leave them off. Put the battery back in. And just check the bottom. That's probably the other thing the way I want to do is just check the bezels. Okay. Oop, wrong way. Wrong way. There it goes. Yes. Okay, for the moment of truth. I don't know why this ain't focusing. I just turn the light off. First try, boys. First fucking try. Look at that. Ain't she beautiful? I'm, I'm pretty happy. First freaking try for me. Holy. Woo! I'm happy. I just did that first freaking try. Ooh, missed a spot. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. So I'm going to use this laptop for, uh, what's it called, college. So, But it does look a lot better in my opinion. But, goddamn dogs. Freaking animals. I love in the uh, video, he j it was two minutes long, and I'll paste the link below um, to Screen Surgeons where you can find the screen. But I only watched the video once and, you know, understood the problems of it. And of course, that stupid executable window will come out because I didn't I didn't go I didn't edit the register yet. This wasn't that bad. That this wasn't that bad. I would do screen replacements again on these laptops, but if I gotta take the whole freaking thing apart, yeah, forget it. <laughs> but not obviously we'll do that because that's Rocket Tab. Rocket Tab is actually malicious crap that I had installed. The program isn't that threatening in my opinion because it, it, one click of the registry editor and it's just poof. The reason why this is popping up because in the registry editor I had the list and then I just didn't remove it yet. But Freaking right. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. This thing off. So here's what this stuff, let me make sure I'm zoomed out. This is what this stuff looked like you had. Look at the size of this packaging. Holy. And then this is what the screen protector came in. This is what the screen case came in. This is more protection. That's my packaging slip. And that's what the box looks like. Holy cow. I'm very happy. Very. Very pleased. Although the dog is not here, I would kindly scold him. So anyway, guys, whoop, no crooked here. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Have a good one, and uh, if you got any more laptop questions, you know, just let me know. And uh, yeah, and I guess I'll show you the broken screen. And I would highly recommend. Whoops, wrong way. Screen surgeons, awesome. I like them. So this is actually the other laptop. You can. Let me flip my screen around. You can see where it's broken. You can see exactly where it's broken. Let me get a tissue and wipe it off a little bit. Let's use these things. Coffee spills. It's already broken. Okay.
yeah, you can see dramatically where it is, the whole thing. Goddamn dogs. That's where it, but uh, he dropped it off the desk, was exactly where it is, and it, I don't know how he knocked it off the desk, he's, 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 the, he's the dog, he's the dog of self-destruction. So anyway guys, again, thanks you for watching this video, if you have any more laptop questions, repairs, or stuff like that, just feel free to ask them below. Thank you for watching. If you have any problems with screen surgeons when you're installing these, drop them an email. I obviously didn't have any problems, although I will email them telling them that. I give them a uh, big thumbs up. See you later, guys.